So Spike Jones didn't include all these other flourishes about saccades and black and white vision in the periphery, but obviously it wouldn't have helped if he did. It would have just made it worse because real vision is nothing like seeing blinks and looking down a tunnel and seeing saccades and seeing most of the world in black and white. Instead, the experience of vision is like being embedded directly in a full, rich, colorful world. So this is a tough challenge for a movie director to make an attempt to step into someone else's head. And it's not just being John Malkovich, but lots of movies try this sort of thing, trying to show what it's like for you to be inside someone else, experiencing what it's like to be them. So let's return to the movie Strange Days. As I mentioned earlier, in that movie, you can record an experience from someone, let's say while they're committing a robbery. And so we'll put aside the problem that you can't experience the whole thing, the emotions, the thoughts, the feelings. But again, we're just going to ask what the movie director did to make us feel like we were inside the visual system of another. So when the director needed to show us this, he showed us from a first-person point of view, because after all, that's what was being sold in the helmet. And what we saw was the camera bouncing up and down, indicating that the first-person point of view we were in was running on foot from the cops. Now, that cracked me up because it represents a basic error of what it's really like to be running. When you are running, your visible world does not bounce up and down. Your visual system takes account of the movement of your muscles, and it compensates for that. As a result, your view of the outside world is steady. 